Okay, so we are going to talk about importing presets and how to use them today. So um, here you can see I've downloaded my new pack and unzipped it. And when you unzip it, you'll end up with three folders. You've got performances, presets, and rigs. And you also have the PDF document if you want to uh, look at the information about that. So today we're going to focus on presets. And if I double click, I get to open it up and uh, see everything that's in it. All these presets we're going to put into the local library. You can put them directly onto the Kemper. Uh, the rigs and the presets you can drag directly in here after you've opened up the folder and you have the individual files. You can just select one or select all and then drag them uh, right onto the profiler. Uh, for this I'm going to put them into the local library but before I do that I'm going to show you how to create a folder so I'll just highlight local library under presets, right click, add folder, 2020 presets. So now I've got this folder in the local library. So they will be in the local library of the Kemper once I put them in. And there's that. So there they are. Now if I want to drag in any of these individually, I can just take it and drag it right onto the uh, Kemper from there. Otherwise, you can just leave them in here and keep the those versions safe um, in case you ever want to go back to the original versions that are right there. Or you can drag them all into your Kemper and have them available even if you're not connected to Rig Manager. It's just whatever you choose to do. So I've got a rig pulled up and it's got some stuff on it. I'm just going to uh, remove some of this stuff. Let's see, make it empty for now. Um, just right clicking on them. Ah, here it is. And empty. So freed up some little spaces. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit. I'm going to put my rotary speaker here and I'm going to put my tremolo before the amp slot and then I'm going to find my big huge uh, lush swell. There it is. But that that is a reverb. I'll put it right there. So I've just edited, I just dragged the presets and now I've got a new sound with all these things in it. So you can just tap to turn them off and on. Now you notice the rotary speaker has a morph. Um, to change that, to see what it's doing, you can uh, actually hit the M button on the keyboard and that'll take you the unmorph state to the morph state. Um, if you want to change these parameters, you can drag this reddish dot and put it wherever you want or command and then drag. You can move the, uh, the right one. So this is your stop point, this is your start point. And then in your rig settings, you can determine the ramp, the rise and fall time. So that's pretty much how you use it. Once you get everything laid out the way you want, you just hit store rig or store rig in local library. And you can also create your own presets. So take any of these effects in the Kemper, tweak them to your heart's desire, and then you can store, uh, you can store them using the Kemper itself. I'm not sure if there's a way in rig manager to store the presets, probably is. Um, but you just hit store on the machine. It'll give you two options, store the rig or store just that module. Hit store the module, name it, and then that preset is in your machine and you can use it just like you can use any of these. You can dial it up using the browse knob on the machine or just look like all the ones that are on my Kemper. I can use any of these. And Kemper has a pretty wide a range of delays and things like that with their new suites. So that's pretty much it. Presets are just really easy ways to drag and drop blocks in the rig editor. So enjoy.